over the steps on how to install a sink basket into a sink. And once you take it out of the package, there's a couple different styles. This one has the large outside nut. You have another style that has a smaller one. We're just going to remove this big nut and you're going to have a piece of cardboard which you want to save this. This is actually a friction ring. You have a rubber gasket and then you've got a nut and a special tailpiece washer on the bottom. You want to use that for the tailpiece coming out of the bottom of this. On a sink basket we're going to have to create our own washer. So underneath this flange we're going to put a rope of plumber's putty and I always like to purchase plumber's putty that's called stain free or non-staining and you'll be able to use this for all of your projects around the house because it's goof proof. You can use it on plastic or porous material which you can't use a standard plumber's putty on. So we're going to create a rope about a half an inch thick, maybe about the size of your small finger and we're going to push this underneath the flange all the way around. Once you have your plumber's putty on, we're just going to push the sink basket. We're going to center it in that little indentation and push it straight down. And you'll see this excess coming out. And then we're going to wipe off the excess underneath. Now, when we're tightening this underneath and turning that nut, what happens sometimes is this whole sink basket will spin. So you can either get a sink basket tool, a small device that sets into these crossbars to hold it in place. And I just picked up this rigid faucet and sink installer and it has this fitting that goes into the top of this and locks in. And so now I'll be able to have a helper push down and hold this from turning while I tighten the nut underneath. If you don't have a specific tool to hold the sink basket in place, you can just drop in needle nose pliers and that'll hold it in place while you tighten it up. Once you remove the excess plumber's putty from underneath, we're going to put our rubber washer up first and then we're going to take this cardboard gasket and put it on second and that's going to keep this nut from catching the rubber and twisting and pushing it out of shape. So now we're just going to snug this up and now I'm going to have a helper hold the top and that basket while I tighten up this ring here. For a project like this, you're going to need a sink basket tool which will grab onto these little tabs or a large adjustable pliers. Once you tighten down that nut, you're going to force out the excess plumber's putty and then you just have to wipe this excess off and that plumber's putty is our gasket underneath the sink basket. So that's all there is to installing a sink basket.